Our first speaker is Sang Lim Kim, who is an associate professor of Korean art history at Dartmouth College. She is currently a visiting professor at Seoul National University. She has authored uh, the book Flowering Plums and Curio Cabinets, The Culture of Objects in Late Chosan Korean Art, uh, published by University of Washington Press in 2018, and edited the book Park Dae-sung, Ink Reimagined, also came from University of Washington Press just last year. She wrote numerous articles and book chapters, uh, including the most recent one being Still Life in Motion, The Origins of Development of um, Czech Gody Painting in 2021. Uh, today, she will be presenting a paper entitled um, Sang Jari, The Aesthetic Journey from Earth to Cosmos, or in Korean, 이성자 대지에서 은하수까지 미학적 여정. So please join me in welcoming Professor Song Lim Kim. Thank you, Professor Bu, um, for very kind introductions. Because of the time limit, I need to shorten some descriptions of the artworks and not read all the uh, citations. Instead, I put these words on the screen for you to read. Songja Lee was a Korean French abstract artist. Her uh, six decades artist life produced over 4,300 works in total. We held 85 solo exhibitions and participated in over 300 group exhibitions, receiving Chevalier from the uh, French government uh, in 1991 and Officier again in 2002 and Boguan uh, from the Korean government, uh, South Korean government in 2009. Rhee was well recognized in France and Korea, but is less known in English speaking countries. This presentation explores an unusually varied artistic uh, journey and its evolution within the international abstract art movement. A diligent archiver re-recorded and numbered all her works and named each of her nine artistic periods. And in this presentation, I grouped the periods into four phases based on the thematic and stylistic changes over Rhee's life. Um, this journey through these four phases is the story of uh, pioneering women artists, struggles and challenges, resistance and collaborations, and triumph and uh, beatitude. We grew up a small town in, uh, in southern um, Korea, uh, spending much of her childhood in uh, natural and rural surroundings. Like many other bright and fortunate Korean students, um, she attended um, in the colonial period. She educated at Jisun Women's University in Tokyo, majoring in home economics. Returning to Korea in 1938, she had an arranged marriage with a promising uh, medical surgeon, and they had three sons. An extramarital affair by her husband in 1950s ended this marriage, and her husband took three sons. When the Korean War broke out, Ri evacuated to Busan in far southern Korea. There, she met Son Byung Ik, secretary of the Korean consulate in France, who helped her leave for Paris in 1951. And we recorded her thoughts upon departing like this. Thus, 33 years of life in Korea as daughter, wife, and mother were closed, and a second life as a Parisian artist began. Separation from family, especially her uh, mother and sons, was a, a driving motivation for this artistic journey, particularly for the women and earth period. 
We did not expect to uh, remain long, but studied for teacher certificates in French and fashion design to support herself when she returned when she returned to Korea. However, a teacher recognized her artistic talents and recommended she go to Académie de la uh, Grande Chaumière in Montapanis in 1953. It was an institution attended by prom uh, prominent international artists like Paul Gauguin. Um, Amade, um, Amadeo Modigliani, Alexander Carter, and Juan Miro, as well as various Korean male artists. There, um, three influential professors helped re, uh, lay a solid artistic foundation. We first learned oil painting from Breyer, a well-established landscape and still life painter, and he taught her classic subjects, styles, and techniques, and she learned realistic and academic uh, approaches. Thus, it is natural that her earlier works show a figurative aspect. Her 1956 oil landscapes, The Snow on Beaux-Arts Street, a simplified yet realistic scene from the window of her art attic room was executed in strong um, color contrast and heavy hue. It was selected by the Société Nationale des Beaux-Arts and displayed at the center of the exhibition hall. It also received a very positive appraiser from art critic Georgiou Bodayou um, in Le Letters uh, Francoise. That same year, Lee had her first solo exhibition and a cre very critical achievement. Unlike many Korean artists, unlike many male Korean artists, then in Paris, who previously had studied in Japan, we learned painting from scratch in Paris. Um, this uh, male artist, um, so her not as a fellow artist, but with a slight disdain, calling her Madame, not artiste. However, this successful debut in the French art world brought self-confidence and inspiration. Indeed, while she missed her family in Korea, she was happy in France and increasingly saw it as a viable home. It was Anli Goetz who opened Lee's eyes to abstract paintings and inspired her to pursue it for the rest of her career. In 1955 and 1956, Lee worked closely with um, Goetz as his assistant. She was exposed to Dadaism and Surrealism through Goetz and uh, his close interactions and collaborations with the poets um, set an example for her. From 1957 to 1960, after her figurative period, we experimented with abstract painting, especially relicar abstraction. She admired French artist uh, Pierre Bonnard and Russian French artist Marc Chagall for their color. She became obsessed with color and her rich palettes reflect the warm, beautiful atmosphere she felt in Paris, in uh, France. We attributed meaning to colors, and it was also art, uh, recognized by art critic Raymond Nassant, who observed the similar things. Thus, her colors reflecting her aesthetic sense and sensibility of Korea appeal to Western viewers. By the early 1960s, we had skill, confidence, and exhibition experience, but searched for her own theme, forming the, uh, forming the one she called Women and Earth. She is considered, um, she considered the Earth the source of life, but felt remorse because she could not raise her children herself. Thus, the uh, driving force of this period came not only from uh, pride of being a woman, but from unfulfilled responsibility as a mother, for which a painting became a substitute. To her, painting was like the act of um, cultivating the land, fertilizing and putting the air in it. 
She also said, I till the land rather than painted pictures. Painting stood in for motherhood. I thought if I moved my brush once more, my ch children would eat one more spoon of rice. I felt anxious about my children when I was not working on painting uh, day and night, and I felt the pain of missing them. This preoccupation determined her painting method, which consisted of countless small brushes, uh, strokes. For Ri, it was not just painting, but more of a religious practice, like meditation or sweeping uh, the autumn leaves in a Zen garden. Her paintings were seen by an art critic, Yu Jun Sang, as a pattern woven, a patterns woven on a loom, uh, reminiscent of traditional Korean patterned mats. In fact, a mother I remember in the Accord de Paris exhibition in 1962 drew attention from the French Ministry of Culture, which she uh, began to uh, collect these artworks, and the Bobe Manufactory requested the original painting to prove a tapestry based on it. Um, regarding her repetitive dotting technique, artistrian Kim Mi Soon, who is here with us, pointed out that the best known um, Korean dot painting is Hwang Gi Kim's Where in What Form Are We to Meet Again, which received the grand prize at the first Hanguk Ilbo exhibition in 1970. Kim wrote that the, uh, he painted it dot by dot, rem uh, remembering Seoul and thinking of millions of things. But she acknowledged that Sun Jae Lee had produced a work uh, filled with the dots in the 1960s and put her wronging, uh, wronging into every dot. Lee noted that while her dotted abstract already had been shown in a 1965 exhibition, the Korean art scene paid no attention to their symbolisms or to this pioneering aspect and its former implications. As Kim pointed out, this uh, divergence uh, view of two paintings, both by artists who had, no, who had studied in France, might reflect the gender difference of the painters. Nonetheless, Ri saw maternity as a privilege and a driving force behind her creativity. As for her connection with the earth, Ri also liked to work with the soil, um, so she, should, um, she could feel nature directly. Thus, when she came to Korea in 1965, she stated, I put my hands on pottery using the soil of Korea, the homeland I had missed so much. Li's use of geometry symbol in the early 1960s was in part inspired by uh, Sonia Delone, where she saw Delaunay's work and that of her uh, late husband, Robert Delaunay. She was fascinated by its brilliant colors and geometric shapes. Um, uh, circles, especially, uh, saw similarities between colorful circles of their work, often divided, and the blue and red yin and yang motif of the Korean flag. Circles, especially halved circles with a, a butting convex and concave forms in the middle, became a core geometric symbol in Rhee's later works, and her interactions with Sonia in 1961 planted the seed. In 1965, the Korean Korea French Culture Agreement was signed, and Rhee visited Korea for the first time since her departure. She returned in glory and her first solo exhibition uh, and had her first solo exhibition in Korea at the Seoul National University Faculty Club. Probably of more important more importance to Ri, her return entailed reunion with her three sons now in their twenties and with her mother, who died in nineteen sixty eight. Reunion and her mother's death freed Ri from family and associated uh, responsibility, which critically impacted her artistic life and formed a turning point in her painting themes. Her women and earth paintings had been very popular and critically acclaimed, both in France and Korea, and had brought much success. 
However, her life had moved on. And she said in 1968, oops, um, Ours is done, ours is done. If an artist stays on what is popular, then that is the, e the end. If I'm real artist, I have to move on constantly. I have to move on at my will. I should not stay there. Staying there is the death of an artist. In 1969, then re-ended her women and arts period to enter reserving the circle. In, 16, uh, in 1969, she traveled to America, uh, cities including New York, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, and Honolulu, and received new artistic inspirations. Just like Pierre Mondrian, uh, who had been uh, greatly impressed and inspired by New York and produced his Broadway Boogie Oogie 30 years earlier, we depicted this bustling and perplexing city in tangled freeways and complicated streets in her lively superimpositions work, such as spatial superimposition with overlapping lines, energetic design, um, or patterns and uh, tiny mar marching uh, squares and geometric forms. She searched for her ideal city within geometric forms and uh, selected as um, her core motif, the circle. To her, a circle embodied uh, const constant movement, expressing the infinite without beginning or end. However, her circle, consisted of two halves, one with a rectangular indentations, the other with a corresponding uh, projection, which would key together to create the perfect circle, but which are shown slightly separated as here. The two halves reflect her philosophical themes of coexisting duality. Her searches for resolution possibly came from her co um, coexisting dual identities. Lee once said, I am neither Korean nor French. I am Sunja Lee, an individual. She must have felt she did not belong to either country, but that her destiny was to constantly move from one side of the world to the other. As we change themes from motherhood to uh, cities and yin and yang, her painting style changed dramatically. As she focused more on hard-edged geometric forms, her colorful patterns was limited during her um, superimposition and city periods. She used rich, bold, strong colors that give a masculine balance to her flooring circular forms. She also dropped um, dropped her time-consuming and labor-intensive impasto painting techniques in oil and found a new, faster uh, medium, acryl painting. Acryl paintings dry fast can, and can be painted over quickly and so are more suitable for expressing the overlapping effects of the line and movements of cities. Although renowned as a painter, Ri's production of woodblock prints was equally passionate. After learning etching techniques in 1957, she quickly changed the printmaking medium from matter to wood. Wood was part of nature, and she collected pieces while strolling, uh, strolling through forest, feeling the grain and trying to engage with the life force left therein. Her 720 prints followed her painting themes, uh, but we did, did her best known and most rewarding print work alongside of the uh, painting during her last artistic phase. In printmaking, we delivered much support and pleasure through collaboration with her longtime friend, Michel Vitor, whom she met in 1977. He was famous for novels in the Nouveau Roman Zangle, and their first project uh, combined Ries Udabla prints and Vitor's poem, Return to the Sources, in a six panel folding screen. Vitor said, Image and text um, need each other and interact to create newness through perfect bonding. Ri, whose French was limited, saw Butoro as an irreplaceable coterie, expressing 
uh, her thoughts in beautiful French. She related her bliss at uh, working closely with him, despite the geo uh, politi uh, geographical and cultural distance between Korea and France. I met someone in France who understand me perfectly. What a beauty of life. Remade with block prints and then Butora penned a poem writing directly on her prints and they worked together from 1977 to 2005, uh, producing uh, 77 uh, prints. The last phase of Lee's painting, which I call Beyond the Earth, reflects what she consistent once she considered evolution from this world up through the heavens and uh, eventually to the uh, entire cosmos. Mm, she said, it is time to let our minds travel from one work to another and to comfort ourselves with a song of the grand and magnificent cosmos. Um, this uh, uh, phase arose from Ri's flight between France and Korea during the 1980s and 1990s, filled with the joy and admiring uh, the earth from above. She felt herself flying through the uh, heavens. In the road to uh, anti-pause period, repainted the uh, uh, snow-capped Arctic glaciers, uh, mountains, and uh, flooring halved circles and color stripped arcs as seen in uh, this painting. She moves from um, one country to the other, yet belongs to neither. She said she felt freer when up in an airplane than when, it, uh, when she set foot on to land, any land. Finally, uh, Lee moved to the cosmos period when earth and mountains disappeared from her canvas. While flooring dots and geometric shapes in bright cherry colors, the paintings are irrational and fantastic. They remind us of 1920s work of Vasily Kandinsky, with emphasizes, um, which emphasize geometrical elements. In such painting um, as circles in, uh, in a circle and several circles, he experimented uh, with the simple forms and colors to explore the inner reality of the shapes, their relationship and their harmonies. Unlike women and earth and res uh, reserving uh, the circle phases, uh, which uh, fit nicely into the artistic tenor of the time, Riz beyond the earth was entirely at the odds with the contemporary art history. Her late paintings thus have received uh, much criticism, while this work has been called a, a self-indulgent, separate from meaningful art historical context. It reflects her own uh, poetic and musical vision of the universe and life, uh, and of life. Faithfulness to the vision shows that her inter internal voice and feeling were not swayed by desire to please an audience. We always played uh, music with, uh, um, when painting and gave poetic titles to her works. Okay, and it reminds us, uh, the viewers, to um, Kandinsky's sky blue, where observed colorful and vibrant figures like birds or aquatic creatures float in a blue sky. In Rhys paintings, it is not those creatures that float around, but uh, halved circles and colorful uh, segmented uh, arcs. A cheerful universe, um, fanciful color, um, reflects the drastic changes of Greece cosmos period. Dreamy and fantastic, her colors create a vibrant atmosphere. Like an aurora, her paintings emit light and despite the intangibility of the skies, as we see here. Okay, Lee's last 
uh, master masterpiece is architecture. Her art studio called Unasu or um, Milk Way in English. Built in 1992, it is in the form of two half circles with a convex projection and matching concave indentations in the middle uh, and just as in many of her uh, city uh, paintings. The two buildings are slightly askewed and artificial stream flows between them, but stepping stones connect the buildings. Uh, she painted in the young building because, as she said, uh, adding paint to canvas is young work, and she did woodblock in the in building because carving is in work. Uh, this in and young might portray Rhys herself, her uh, dual identity, her challenges. As Korean and French mother and artist, East and West are like um, two halved circles, separated yet complementary and wanting to pair up to be complete. Conclusions. Sun Jae Lee lived almost a century from childhood in the woods and uh, fields of Korea through war and globalizations to finally seeing the universe from space age perspective. Through it all, her artistic visions and productions were uh, was rooted in the story of her life as a woman and a world citizen. Her earlier works reflect her strong connections with others of the modern art movement, while her later works uh, takes off in her own unique directions. Some view Rhee's earlier works are more accomplished and her later paintings as uh, decorative and self-indulgent, while others regret her being underestimated due to her gender, her solo activity beyond any particular artistic circle, and her not leaving uh, direct disciples. Yet her artistic vision and sincerity were solid at every phase. Lee left us many varied expressions of herself as mother, world citizen, earthly and spiritual being, and artist. She showed us her struggles, conflicts, triumphs, and hopes. Her long career appears a colorful, marvelous, aesthetic journey through which an artist uh, discovers meaning to <laughs> nature and life and her, her own identity. Starting from the earth, and finally reaching to the cosmos, we expressed her artistic vision to the world. Thank you. Thank you.